Hey guys, the Super Review Show here with a editorial video. I've been doing a lot of thinking and I'm doing a lot of polls on Twitter and stuff like that and this is one that you guys have decided to have me talk about and there was a 50-50 chance but one of them really is not quite fitting for the Super Review Show so I'm going to talk about this one instead. This is an editorial on how concerts can return to our audiences. Yes, this is not just a movie topic or a music topic. Well, it is a music topic, but this is a real-world scenario. And I, the, First off, let me just start off by saying a couple of things right off the top. I love concerts. I love live music. There is no better experience in the world for me personally than going to see a band or an artist I like live and enjoying their stuff live. It's a... a, and a it's never take the opportunity for live music for granted. That's the truth. That being said, we are in COVID. We, it's January of 2021. Everyone's been postponing their tours and rescheduling stuff left and right for this year. But let's face it. What are the actual likelihood of, this, of these concerts returning? What's the actual likelihood of we can, I can go see the Hella Mega Tour, which I have tickets for, which is Green Day, Fall Up Boy, and Weezer? Playing one show, why not? Another one I have to, oh, I have tickets for is Ringo Starr. I, um, I have tickets to go see Ringo Starr, and I'm thrilled. I can't wait to go see him. Safety permitting, of course. The show, the first one of the year, is Ringo. His date is actually is in June. It's a Friday in June, so I'm gonna have to leave my work, go to. Um, go to the venue and hopefully it'll be good by there. But honestly, let's face it, COVID is still a live factor. It's a big risk. If we get all these people together, that, that is a high likelihood that a lot of people will get it. So where do we go from here? The last thing I heard was I actually on a radio show news briefing about the status of live concerts. Uh, the status of live concerts as of right now by the man himself who's been on the news, has been reporting stuff, Dr. Fauci, he has been reporting that probably by summer or fall of this year that we're going to be getting concerts back. He thinks by no, but probably by the summer and fall, once the vaccine is rolled out fully, once we have more, there's still, there, I, and the masks are still going to be out and about for sure, whoever wants to that's probably going to be a, a factor still as far as live shows go but let's be real we all want to go back out there we all have our tickets still i've been i bought i got these hella mega tour tickets for in december or or november of 2019 and i'm still waiting i've never seen green day Fall Out boy or weezer before so i'm in for a treat um i've never seen ringo star before i'm in for a treat assuming everything is safe and goes well. But that's the last thing I heard is that Dr. Fauci was saying that he we're targeting a summer and fall return of live music. And I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything in particular about this but I have a relative who lives in California and this relative of mine does indeed handle um touring for two major artists as of right now. Uh Elton John and Jimmy Buffett. Um, the concert industry is hurt because of the virus because no one can go to the shows. No one can. The venues don't make money. The artists are not making money, and so many artists are doing the s s uh, stand up for Save Our Stages Act or not act. They're just they're saying what they're saying. What can, they're saying what, they're seeing what they can do to help out the venues and promote things. You can watch a concert online. I heard Blink One Eighty Two or Post Malone was doing a show. Of uh, Nirvana covers for like fifteen dollars just to pay admission to go see the show on your laptop. When to me that didn't really make a lot of sense because why would you want to pay for something that's gonna be right in front of you anyways? I mean I understand the money would go towards save our stages, but at the same time you're like I'm paying for money to sit in front of my laptop. <laughs> so um, I will say this: I did spend, I did see one concert last year. Now you're saying how did you see a show in 2020? I saw one show in January of 2020. Um, I saw uh, Brian Wilson. Um, uh, he was in the Beach Boys. He's the only Wilson brother left. If you know what I'm talking about, good for you. Uh, I saw him live, and I recorded a bunch of stuff for that. That's on my personal channel. If you guys want to go check out the footage I shot there, that's fine there too. Um, and he was great, you know. For and it, not making this up, he literally came on stage with a walker. 
I'm not kidding. I know, like my my taste in music is so old. I get it, but like, um, I'm looking, but at the same time, I'm looking at. I'm looking. I'm keeping a close eye on not just the movie news and whatnot for the Super Review show, but I'm also looking at concert news as well. When will we see the return of live shows? When will be able to we'll be able to go close to close with each other? Maybe without a mask. Maybe with a mask. I have no idea. But all I'm saying is that I am impatiently <laughs> waiting the return of live music. I am beyond ready for them to say, you know what, you're good. Earth, wind, and fire. Whatever, you know, whatever it. Uh, you can go see them too. Um, I will say this too. My list of concerts, as I pull it up here, as I'm recording this video, um, I'm gonna. I I have tickets for as, as as I mentioned. I do have tickets for, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Hella Mega Tour, Green Day, Fallout Boy, and Weezer, Ringo Starr. Um, I also have tickets for Guns and Roses. Um, which is got rescheduled to the day after Green Day, Fall Out Boy and Weezer. So I'm gonna see like two band, two, four bands in like two days. I'm gonna go deaf. I guarantee it. <laughs> um, but there are other people who move their dates into 2021 that I would like to see. Let me just go off in a couple of those for a second. Jackson Brown and James Taylor. They're coming locally um, to a local venue around here in July. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know, uh, August 14th. Hope, uh, I hope to see them in August. Um, this, again, old taste. I'm sorry, but if you've seen Mixed Bag, you know where I'm talk coming from with this. The Temptations and the Four Tops, I, I thought about it for a long time, and I'm like, you know what? I'd love to go see them just so I could say I could saw them. I saw the Beach Boys. I saw Brian Wilson. I saw Bob Dylan. I saw Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Fight me. Just saying. Um, don't actually fight me, but... <laughs> um. There are other shows that are going to be coming locally to my general area that I like to go see too, like Train, you know, Hey Soul Sister and all that stuff. I do like Train a lot. Um, June, they're coming to in June. Um, Aerosmith is touring at Fenway Park um, in September. I'm hoping to get tickets for that, assuming COVID can let up, but that's also in September. That's like eight or nine months away from now. And let's face it, the vaccine will probably be rolled out by now. And other... Artists are going to tour too. I, the Foo Fighters are on my list to see. When Pearl Jam rolled out their dates initially, I was like, oh, "I gotta get tickets for Pearl Jam." You know, um, it, but I'm just I'm I'm you know I'm a concert goer and I, I pay attention to this stuff. So, but do I think that they'll return? Yes. And the people who say, "Oh, they're never going to return," are fucking wrong. They are wrong as hell. Um, I really do think that they are wrong because let's face it, this is a blip in time. It's not going to last for ten years. We have a little faith. Show and give yourself some, you know, th some positive positive thoughts. Come on, you know, like I want to see live shows again so bad because all of my shows got rescheduled to this year, and hopefully I'll be able to see them this year. So fingers crossed. Hopefully, and there's one other show I wanted to see on there. I already saw Def Leppard with Journey back in 2018. Um, I but there, how could you listen? The Hell Mega Tour when they announced that with like Weezer, Fall Out Boy, and Green Day, I was like, oh, that's gonna be great. Got tickets for that. Then all of a sudden, the '80s hair metal acts Joan Jett, Poison, Motley Crue, and Def Leppard announced a tour together, like as one bill and stadiums. How could you not do that? That's like that's a T-shirt waiting to happen. Um, you know, like that's a show that would be amazing. I would love to go see that personally because uh, it's it's four bands one night one. Night. It's kind of like on the throwback to Monsters of Rock tour back in the '80s. So, but um, anyways, I digress. What do you guys think about anything I'm talking about? Do you think concerts will return sooner than that? Do you think they'll return only in the fall? What do you guys think about that? Jump down in the comment section below. Share your love of music with me. In the comment section below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But for all of your Super View Show editorials, keep it locked on the Super View Show. The J-Man is off to work. We'll see you guys later.